bass player is the catalyst between the uh, the drummer, and the piano player, or guitar player. So I, th I think to be a bassist and a band leader, yeah, it kind of it focuses the 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 whole intent or the whole purpose of the rhythm section. It was while I was in high school that I started listening to Motown music and my folks finally brought me an electric bass and uh, I started learning the tunes on the radio and at one point I, I knew just about the entire playlist of the uh, R&B radio station in Philadelphia at the time. I just like anything that has meaning, has a memorable melody, uh, something that has passion, and something that's sincere. The name of the album, I think, came early on because a few of the tunes uh, on the CD I wrote years ago, maybe 15, 20 years ago. Through the course of time and me having these tunes but never recording them, I felt like I was sitting on a secret because I didn't even want to tell people that, yeah, I have some tunes I hope to record one day because uh, it's meaningless until you actually record them. So I think initially I felt like sitting on a secret would be the name of my CD. It can be a bass line, it can be chord progressions, it can be a melody, and quite a few times I've written tunes that are based on ideas that they weren't meant to be developed as a tune, but little bass exercises, um, stumbling across chords when I'm playing the piano. Uh, it, it can happen so many different ways. I think that's the beauty of composing. That's what makes it fun for me, because it's always uh, it's an adventure every time. When I write, I try to think of a person who may not be that interested in jazz, but likes music in general. And I want that person to be able to say, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I like that. <laughs>